even the way you you make a scene either happening to them or to us in the theater and that's a big difference i think with atmos you say we are entering the fun house we know we could do everything and anything you know and um i think we started off talking mostly about like atmospheres how important i think they are in a big scope film like this you know like that and that, that they've got a density to them you're creating tension and release and you're playing with dynamics and you're playing with when do we sit in a moment and when do we zoom past a moment and when do we explode it's it's the same questions i'm asking myself when i'm like literally at my piano writing writing you a tune from a peaceful street he began to live in an epic western story uh, and that other sort of heightened quality of life seen and heard through the movies in the imagination of a creative kid sent us into that sort of non-naturalistic territory as well it's unusual to take elements where you're sort of essentially sampling the movie and taking like dialogue and 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 bringing like elements from what Julian and Dan are doing into the score and vice versa it's beyond production value sound is a portal into a stranger's mind that is incredibly influential the best way to to embrace the sound of this movie is by far in Dolby Atmos it's like a, it becomes a almost a physical, I would say, almost a spiritual experience. Because at the end of the day, you're not mixing sound, you're mixing an image. You have, you are, it's storytelling. And uh, everything that pulls you away from the screen is bad for me. But when sound, the sound of Atmos, what I like, it's that I just have the impression that I'm diving into the image. Mm -hmm.